guys, it's Matt uh, here today to talk about my uh, super janky but a lot of fun grapple deck. You can kind of just play casually with your friends. Uh, you can bring this to the event, I wouldn't advise it. Uh, it did do pretty well the other night <laughs> for some reason, maybe just luck draws, but I, uh, I ended up uh, going 4 0 with it. So, um, you know, it's maybe just luck. I, I, I guarantee a Bugs deck would crush this, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> let's, let's take a look. So, on our team, we're playing Starter B. Jazz from Wave 1 and Grapple from Wave 2. This deck is focusing on Grapple, so you're going to be trying to power him up. You can play Flame War if you want to play instead of Jazz, but I play him because he's got the leader and the melee feature. And he can kind of stall for a bit of damage. So, Starter B has, when you flip to this mode, each of your characters gets pierced one until the turn. He is a leader, he is melee and a car, as is Jazz. Uh, Jazz's ability is that when this defends against an enemy that does not have pierce and you flip at least two whites, this can't take more than two damage for the attack. So if someone has Pierce, it just completely negates his ability. You'll never ever want to flip Jazz to his bot mode, but I will show you what he does. He's a leader in melee. When this attacks and you flip at least two white, you get Pierce too. Bumblebee, uh, he'll probably want to stay in his bot mode most of the time. He has tough one. And last is Grapple, the focus of the deck. Grapple has been one of my favorite characters in Transformers since way back when. I was pumped when they released his info and I thought he's gonna be amazing but you know what he's not that good <laughs> but I but I people say he's not that good but I I believe in my heart that he's a good character so uh, he's a truck and melee as I mentioned and he's melee on his bot side so let's take a look at his abilities his first ability if you want to see right here is when you flip to this mode you may discard your hand if you do and those cards have battle cards of exactly four different colors do four damage to an enemy grapple his bot mode. When this battles and you flip battle icons of exactly four different colors, this gets plus four attack and plus four defense in the turn. This really matters because this will stack on an attack turn where you're able to go ahead and defend against multiple assailants. So let's say if a person comes at you, the four, let's say if four combiners are coming at grapple and he flips those symbols for each of those attack, he gets that plus four until that end of that whole attack phase. So remember that he will always keep that. Now that'll only last for his turn. So if he goes and attacks and he triggers that ability, he'll get it for that turn only. <clears throat> now let's talk about the deck. Uh, in this deck right here, we are playing uh, an assortment of actions and upgrades that are kind of janky, but as I said, this deck's mostly for fun. Uh, make sure that you do not bring this to an event, competitive event. Uh, you will not have a good time. But before we go over the cards that are inside here, I want to say uh, thank you for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it and all the uh, the good, the nice comments and the likes and the subs. It uh, It's a really good feeling, and I just wanted to express my thanks. Also, make sure you check out uh, topjackgcg.com and use promo code MATIFER. You can get 10% off your order. And yeah, and also, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at thejankyard at outlook.com. Yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about the action. So, first of all, we're playing three copies of Espionage. In this deck, we I tried to balance out the color basis so that we can have a good amount to to make sure that you're going to be hitting it almost every time when you defend or attack with grapple. You're going to find sometimes that Jazz may die pretty quickly if you don't get a body armor or some type of actual tough on him soon. So remember that. Espionage is in this deck because of the white and green pip. Also, you get to choose a battle icon color. Look at your opponent's hand and scrap a card from it that has the battle icon of that color. Fantastic for fishing out powerful cards out of your opponent's hand. Next, we are playing three copies of the card Rollout. Apparently, there should be three copies in this deck, but apparently, Rollout decided not to show up. So, just a moment. Aha! It was stuck to the back of Espionage. <laughs> so, three copies of Rollout. <laughs> Sorry for the goof. Uh, this here is mostly to also proc Grapple's ability for when you're attacking and also defending and for flipping over and discarding to do four damage. Uh, because Grapple's ability is that when you flip back to his truck mode, and you discard your hand and there's the four different colors, you'll do four damage. So it can finish someone off. Uh, it also flips all your characters from their bot mode to their car mode, which is relevant. Uh, next is going to be Scrounge. Scrounge will trigger quite a bit if you uh, play correctly. Uh, Scrounge basically lets you scrap the top card of your deck. If it's an upgrade, you may play it. This is mostly also to pull back for an orange and green pip, so you can use it on grapple when you want to flip and go ahead and discard cards to do the four damage ability. Next is three copies of Secret Dealings. This lets you draw a card and then plan one. So you can possibly set up an attack, 
for grapple when he goes off or a defense. Oh, sorry, uh, an attack with Jazz or Bumblebee. Next is three copies of Smelt to knock off pesky upgrades that are giving you a problem. Uh, most times this may not hit exactly what you're looking for, but it's also there to be pulled back with Grapple so you can go ahead and uh, dish out some, uh, some good burn damage. And three copies of Team Up Tactics. Uh, this card here is probably one of the very few one pip color cards in the deck for actions. Uh, it is only three copies of it. Choose one of your characters. If it's a truck, repair two damage from it. If it's a car, draw two cards. Those are the actions in the deck. Uh, they correspond pretty well for balance for triggering Grapple, as he is the focus of the deck. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, the upgrades. Now, I have mentioned before that you can swap a few of these around. Uh, one of the alternate cards that you can use in this deck is called Mining Pick. I've tried using Mining Pick multiple times in this deck, and every time Mining Pick's gone off, I've been losing cards that I want to trigger for Grapple's ability. So it's easier to actually just go ahead and play cards that give you bold rather than playing Mining Pick. It is a good choice for most other decks, but it does not work in this list, unfortunately. So, uh, we have three copies of Attack Drone. Rarely is this going to be actually played from your hand. This is to be fished back and to be procced from Grapple's ability. Uh, it is a card that lets you play... Uh, once you play one, you can play the rest of them on, your, on one character for one weapon slot for plus one attack, equaling a plus three. Next is going to be Backup Beam. Backup Beam gives you bold two. It can also be pulled back by swapping a card with a green pip on your attack or defense. Three copies of Body Armor. Body Armor gives you tough three. can only be put on melee characters. All of your characters are melee, so that will come uh, with much relevance when you go ahead and slap that down. There's so much armor hate in the meta right now with Bashing Shield. You may see this actually go down and Jazz go down pretty quickly, but when it, when it does get up there and Jazz only takes two damage from attacks, it feels pretty great. Next is three copies of Force Field to defend you from multiple uh, powerful attacks. The Matrix of Leadership, both your characters, Bumblebee and Jazz, do have the leader ability on in their stats. So this will work if you place it on them for late game or early game if you're trying to get some pierce damage in. Also, it can be used to discard or trigger Grapple's ability when attacking. Next is one copy of Recon System. Uh, since we go to about 24 stars, we can go ahead and put a star card in. I figure Recon System is the best of what to use because when you attack... Uh, when you attack or defend, you get to flip one more battle card, then scrap one of the cards you flip without using its battle icons. So it lets you go ahead and try to trigger Grapple's ability or defend more with Jazz or, or Bumblebee since he has tough as well. Next is three copies of Power Sword. Power Sword is here to give Grapple and the rest of your characters bold three. It can only be placed on melee characters. All of your characters are melee, so that will uh, become quite relevant. And last but not least is three copies of Sparring Gear for that tough two. Now, these are the upgrades in the deck that correspond with the actions. They work pretty well. Now, with this deck, you have to remember that this is a casually fun, just charming deck that you're going to want to try to play. And you'll feel great when you trigger uh, Grapple's ability, when Jazz's ability goes off to defend, or when you get some multiple attack or defense cards. It feels fantastic when someone tries to attack you and you've got like 12 defense with Grapple. It's pretty good. So uh, those are the upgrades. These are the actions that we talked about. Um, I don't really have to go through an actual deck instruction, but there are a few things we have to talk about before you actually go and play with these characters. So on your turn one, you're gonna uh, if you're going first, you're gonna always want to flip Bumblebee. So make sure on your turn one that you flip Bumblebee into his bot mode. Why? Because he has tough one and he can mostly defend a good amount of attacks unless someone drops a grenade launcher down and just plows you. So Bumblebee first. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you flip Grapple on your next turn. Do not attack with him until you have a power sword, a body armor, or some type of bold or tough that will let you get that damage right there. I tried playing Supercharge in this deck. I also tried playing a couple more cards to like Treasure Hunt to go ahead and find more gear, but it offset the balance of the pips that I needed to go ahead and trigger their abilities. Uh, Jazz will never ever come out of his car mode. He only ever stays in car so that you can get him in there for a little bit of damage and defend only take two. Now, you notice here that you're going to want to go ahead and swap down a sparring gear on him or a set of body armor as fast as you can so you can go ahead and trigger those two white pips when you reveal on defense. You can throw body armor on Bumblebee if you have a third one, but you're, you're most likely going to want to throw this on Jazz and Grapple right away. So power sword on a Grapple, body armor on a Jazz. And, uh, and then, then body armor or sparring gear on a grapple. And from there, you'll mostly get set up. If you're able to pull the actual rec uh, the recon system, you want to throw that on grapple as well. 
Everything else can be kind of just switched around. Uh, the force field's there to protect from massive damage. Major's leadership will rarely get played on your characters unless you kind of just have it in your hand, but it is there to be discarded. The characters, uh, when they correspond with the actions, uh, you'll find that team of tactics will help you quite a bit with card draw and also healing grapple since he has a zero defense modifier. Secret dealings will mostly be there to be pulled back for the white and green, but it can set up a good attack. Smelt will get rid of that annoying uh, upgrade that's if they're just playing one of them. Let's say they got a, a force field on, you're just about to attack with grapple. You play Smelt for the turn to knock that force field off. Then swing with grapple for big damage. Uh, espionage will knock a card out of their hand and you pretty much know the rest. So, uh, that is the basis of my grapple Bumblebee and Jazz deck. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope you have fun with it. Uh, it is not... Uh, I wouldn't say it is the most competitive deck, but it's it's still a lot of fun to play. And people seeing Grapple coming in and swinging for you know twelve or thirteen damage, you know cracking little guys, it's it's just great. Uh, and that's everything for the deck tech guys. I don't really know much what else to say. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe. And always, uh, as always, make sure you check out uh, the fellas over at Wreck and Rule. Uh, they go ahead and they put out great videos. Also, you may want to go ahead and check out Jimmy on. Transformers TCG Deck Techs, I believe it is. Uh, he has a great channel as well where he goes and posts deck reviews. And uh, yeah, he's got some spicy brews that uh, I dare, certainly do love. And I'm sure that he will probably like this uh, grapple video as well. Anyways, uh, have a great night. And thanks for watching, guys. Any comments that you want to leave? Put them down below. Peace.